Before we get started, make sure to turn on post notification and subscribe to the channel. 10 Names That Should Be Part Of All Elite Wrestling Number 10, Sammy Callahan. Since leaving WWE, Sammy Callahan has gone from strength to strength, becoming one of the biggest names on the independent scene, especially with his work at Impact Wrestling and MLW, where he is constantly in the main event picture. Callahan is a fantastic promo guy, and that is something that every good roster needs. Not to mention that he can mix it up in hardcore matches when needed, something that the company will likely have in order to be different from WWE. As one of the hottest names available right now, it would make sense for All Elite Wrestling to sign Callahan and push him as a major star right from the start, showing to WWE what they missed out on. Number 9. The Elite it is fairly obvious, hence why they are all being grouped into one entry, that the Elite will be all part of the possible new company. After all, they are the ones who the company is rumored to be named after and will be the major stars of the show. It is down to the excellent work they have put in that this is even remotely possible and they will be all the top stars on the show with the names and faces used in the promo to attract audiences. The group consisting of Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, Marty Skrull, Hangman Page and the Young Bucks have decided to stick together and if this is the path they have chosen, you can guarantee they will make it work. Number 8. Joey Ryan Another name that was a big part of the build heading into All In and had a major moment on the event was Joey Ryan and he is someone who would certainly be part of All Elite Wrestling as the group has a close link with them. While wrestling for the most part is built up on serious storylines that fans can invest in, there's always going to be a place for comedy. It is used in every single promotion, especially on the indies, and Ryan can easily fill that bill. Not only does he have a great personality and offer something totally different, but he's also a great worker, so there's no reason why he wouldn't be one of the first people on the list to sign and get on the roster. Number 7. Will Ospreay If the Elite want to have a totally different style on the roster compared to what is available elsewhere, then Will Ospreay would be a brilliant selection as one of the best high-flying wrestlers in the world. Ospreay can do things in the ring that are simply unexplainable at times and is incredibly impressive to watch, which is why he should be a wrestler that all Elite Wrestling want on the books. Given that he can work as a babyface or a heel, Ospreay adds even more value and considering that this company is very much going to be driven from what happens inside the ring, it would make sense to sign one of the best wrestlers on the planet. Number 6. Chris Jericho He might have said that he'll never work in America other than for WWE, but it seems like every time Chris Jericho works in an event outside of the company, he edges ever close to breaking that rule and doing whatever he wants. Jericho, alongside Jim Ross, are both heavily rumored to be involved in this project, should it happen, which makes sense as they are two incredibly creative names and both bring a lot of star power to the show. Adding Jericho's name would help attract more mainstream audiences, which the show will need to survive in the long run, and given that Jericho's enjoying these new challenges, this might be a project he has interest in. Number 5. Dalton Castle Dalton Castle is in a similar position to the Elite in that his contract is coming to an end very soon and a decision will need to be made regarding what he does next, especially because WWE will likely be very interested in signing him. However, All Elite Wrestling is certainly going to be an option for the former Ring of Honor World Champion who is just waiting for another major breakthrough moment to push into the elite level of wrestlers in the world. Joining this roster could possibly give Castle that moment and because he has such a fantastic gimmick that is backed up by Burly Wrestling, he ticks all the boxes that the group will be looking for in its roster. Number 4. CM Punk If All Elite Wrestling becomes a promotion, the rumors are going to be constant in regards to CM Punk and whether or not he'd be coming back to wrestling on the show. And a quick way to deal with that is to just have him on the roster. There's no bigger way for the promotion to get an early buzz about it than by pulling out CM Punk, returning to wrestling for the first time since WWE, as it would gain huge interest from every wrestling fan in the world. It wouldn't even need to be a regular deal either. Simply having Punk around for the start or for a one-off match will be enough to get everyone interested and might just be the closure that Punk needs on his wrestling career. Number 3. Pentagon Jr. Since finishing up with Lucha Underground, Pentagon Jr. has been working a lot on the independent scene, even having a match at All In, which was a simply fantastic match against Kenny Omega, and therefore he is open to different things. It has been speculated that Triple H is desperate to sign Pentagon to an NXT contract, and therefore sneaking a major name away from WWE will be a great start to things 
for All Elite Wrestling. Plus the company would gain an incredible wrestler. Pentagon is simply one of the best on the planet right now. And wrestling fans absolutely love to watch him work. Which is why he should be near the top of the list of wrestlers that the group want to sign. Number 2. Kazuchika Okada the Rainmaker is arguably the best wrestler in the world right now, with really only Kenny Omega battling him for that coveted top spot. So why would the Elite not want him as part of the roster? More wrestling fans want greater opportunities to see Okada live outside of Japan, and him joining this roster would provide that, and would be a major deal as you would have to think he would be in contention for any top title that is available. While he might be one of New Japan's pro wrestling's top guys, the company did allow him to work at All In and therefore must have a working relationship with the Elite already, meaning this deal is certainly possible. Number 1. Tessa Blanchard There's no doubt that women's wrestling is going to be a major part of the promotion, as was shown during All In, when the Fatal 4-Way was one of the best matches of the entire night, and it was Tessa Blanchard who was the winner that night. Blanchard is someone that the group would be keen to have, for many reasons, with the main one being that she's the best female wrestler outside of WWE right now and it would be a huge get for them. WWE has a working relationship with Blanchard as she has appeared several times for the company, so snatching her away from Vince McMahon would be a massive statement while creating a great start to a potential women's division.